The findings of the Mission Assurance Review have prompted the Secret Service to move into the accountability phase of this process. The Office of Professional Responsibility and the Office of Integrity are reviewing the findings. And as a result of these failures, what has become clear to me is we need a shift in paradigm in how we conduct our protective operations. As was demonstrated on Sunday in West Palm Beach, the threat level is evolving and requires this paradigm shift. But here are some of the findings from this mission assurance review. With respect to command and control of the site in Butler, Pennsylvania, the Secret Service has the main responsibility of building the site plan. We cannot abdicate or defer our responsibilities to others. Advanced team personnel have an obligation to ensure that each site meets the protective requirements and principles of Secret Service methodologies. The Secret Service did not give clear guidance or direction to our local law enforcement partners. There were communication deficiencies between law enforcement personnel at the site. For example, the Secret Service did not co-locate its security room with local law enforcement. There was an over-reliance on mobile devices, resulting in information being siloed. For example, at approximately 1810 local time, Secret Service informed personnel that local police were addressing an issue at the 3 o'clock of the outer perimeter. At approximately 1810 local time, via phone call, the Secret Service security room calls the counter sniper response agent reporting an individual on the roof of the AGR building. That vital piece of information was not relayed over the Secret Service radio network.